inside the largest private jet in the world. The 747-8i Boeing commercial jet is actually the world's biggest corporate jet in operation. What might be more eye-catching than the Boeing 747-8, a stretched version of the famous Boeing 747? A corporate aircraft converted from a bespoke Boeing 747-8. Cabinet Alberto Pinto was tasked with a nose-to-tail fit-out of a Boeing business jet 747-8i, privately owned by a rich Middle Eastern businessman. And it was a designer's dream come true, according to Yves Picard, who leads the VIP aircraft team at Alberto Pinto. The dual-level jumbo jet elevates private air transport to unprecedented heights as a floating fortress capable of jumping time zones in the ultimate of luxurious air travel. The Boeing business jet product range consists of VIP-configured versions of current Boeing commercial passenger aircraft. From the smallest Boeing 737 to the largest Boeing 747, every Boeing aircraft currently in development has its own BBJ version. Although buying a private jet is a sign of luxury, the 747-8i BBJ is a clear prestige symbol reserved for the world's governments and a select few of the world's most powerful people. The 747-8i has proved to be a hit in the Middle East, with countries such as Qatar, Kuwait, Turkey, and the United Arab Emirates, using it to move their heads of state. Passengers will automatically recognize that they're on a new Boeing 747-8 Intercontinental as they board. The interior design philosophy is somewhat similar to the Boeing 787 Dreamliner's minimalist look. The open, swept-up architecture of the Boeing Sky creates a sense of space. Aside from the practical weight and durability benefits of LED lighting, it also makes for seamless light transitions, providing a more relaxed and calming atmosphere. The illumination and the sense of space gives the impression of being outside. The Boeing 747-8 Intercontinental takes the technologies and designs that have made the Boeing 787 Dreamliner a common passenger aircraft and builds on them. When locked, the overhead luggage bins are designed to be unobtrusive, adding to the sense of space. They have since been made even deeper, allowing the typical wheelie bag to be placed end-on into the bin. The struggle to get to their seat first so that they don't lose out on space for their carry-on luggage has always been a source of anxiety for passengers. Travelers will find more space and a sweeping staircase leading to the upstairs bubble upon entering the vestibule at door 2, which is the normal entry point for boarding a 747. There's more room in this area than on previous Boeing 747s, allowing for a smoother flow of passengers boarding and disembarking. The U.S. Air Force is designing a 747-8i BBJ for use by the President of the United States as a replacement aircraft for Air Force One in the Americas. The Air Force is a major operator of Boeing business jets, adapting them for military use to transport the country's highest leaders. Cabinet Alberto Pinto, a renowned French interior design company, was charged with designing the interior of a BBJ 747-8i ordered for private use by a Middle Eastern businessman. Take a look at the BBJ 747-8i, the company's biggest aircraft operation. The Boeing 747-8i is Cabinet Alberto Pinto's largest plane, extending over 250 feet from nose to tail with two stages and seating for over 400 passengers in airline configuration. Once aboard, it's impossible to predict whether you're on an airliner or in a palatial estate with all the trappings of luxury. Ornate suites, staterooms, lounges, dining spaces, passenger seating areas, and bathrooms make up the aircraft's interior, rendering it a home away from home for a rich road warrior. The master bedroom is situated in the aircraft's nose, immediately under the cockpit. The nose, which is located at the very front of the fuselage, is the most private and quietest part of the plane because it is hidden from the engines. The bedroom has a standard-sized bed with shelf space on the side walls and storage drawers underneath. The first-class cabin is frequently reserved for the aircraft's nose, with seats 1A and 1B being the most common. The seats on this 747 are configured as a two-person love seat. Minor specifics include personal reading lights, bedside tables, and walled cup holders for when the plane is in the air. Tiny touchscreens mounted in different surfaces can also monitor the lights in the aircraft. A walk-in tub and a single vanity with a full mirror and sink are included in the master bathroom. The tub, which is suitable for long-haul journeys, helps the aircraft owner to fly around the world while also being able to go straight from the plane to meetings. 
A shower is a major selling point for Boeing and Airbus's private jets, since it is on very few commercial aircraft. In an interview with Altitudes magazine, designer Yves Picard clarified that the intention was to give the plane a soft, modern look. The owner gave Picard carte blanche because he didn't want gaudy fabrics and wanted a plain look more akin to a family home. The owner wasn't looking for anything outrageously luxurious with gold and diamonds, said Pigard in an interview. On the contrary, he called for some simplicity, which in the end is indeed the true luxury. The aircraft was serviced at AMAC Aerospace in Basel, Switzerland during the entire period, which took four years from concept to execution. According to Pickard, the project was finished on schedule and on budget. Returning to the plane, there is another guest bedroom on the jumbo jet, which has plenty of space due to its long and wide fuselage, which enables airlines to transport as many passengers as possible. Also, the smaller rooms have their own toilets, complete with full vanities. The aircraft's main foyer separates the master suite from the remainder of the cabin and houses the staircase to the upper deck. This BBJ has a living room with bookshelves and a high-definition flat-screen TV inside the 747's classic hump. A children's play area and crew quarters are located behind the space, with the 8i having the largest upper deck of any 747. The 747's business end, the cabin, is immediately ahead of the lounging room. Back downstairs, couches line the aircraft's sidewalls, providing extra seating space for additional passengers such as support personnel, security information, and so on. In pockets throughout the cavernous plane, private office spaces and seating areas with recliner luxury chairs and gaming systems can be found. The salon on the main floor is the jet's focal point, with three couches, a dining table, and vaulted ceilings. On a long-haul flight, the space is great for holding parties, traveling, getting after-dinner drinks, or just relaxing. A circular table sits opposite the seating area, perfect for dining or even a game of high-stakes poker. Electronic switches inserted in the armrests of each chair enable each leather seat to be adjusted. The aircraft also has a smaller seating section with tables and large in-flight entertainment systems for extra passengers or crew. The owner, according to Pinto, has a big family who travels widely. The BBJ 747-8i can travel long distances with ease, with a range of about 7,700 nautical miles, and serve city pairs such as New York to Hong Kong, Cape Town to Chicago, and Los Angeles to Melbourne. The towering aircraft, with all of its characteristics, is the simple flagship of Cabinet Alberto Pinto's aircraft portfolio, which is led by Linda Pinto. In terms of the Boeing business fleet, the 747-8i will remain the world's largest business plane until the first Airbus A380 is upgraded to an Airbus corporate jet. Although owning a private jet is unquestionably a status mark, piloting a BBJ 747-8i is in a different league entirely. Just about 10 private jets the size of a Boeing 747 are currently operational. After all, the costs of operating a plane of this size are prohibitively expensive. Such a project is a dream come true that happens only once or twice in a designer's lifetime. In a way, this is a landmark in aviation history, adds Yves Picard. Thanks for watching. For more updates, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon.